You're watching Maine's Total Weather and News. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Steve Minnick. Neighbors on edge after a shooting in Portland's West End. Police say the suspect and victim did know each other and were both carrying guns during an argument Monday night. A 48-year-old male was shot in the leg and taken to Maine Medical Center. Police are working with the district attorney to determine charges. New details now about the murder of an oil company worker inside of a customer's home in Londonderry. Investigators say Lewiston native Richard Verville shot Daniel Robito in the back, killing him while he worked on the heating system. Verville then went to another part of the home and then shot himself. He died the next day at the hospital. Business owners are scrambling to hire seasonal workers and say they are being hit with a double whammy. There are just uh, not enough workers, and some foreign workers are delayed because of new regulations. And once they get here, there is not enough housing. Prices at the pump are creeping up. According to Gas Buddy, a gallon of regular in Maine is now two thirty-seven. That is up two and a half cents from last week. Mainers still hit the road, though, over the holiday weekend. According to the Maine Turnpike Authority, there were over 951,000 transactions at the toll plazas. That is a three and a half percent increase over last year. And thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Sable. I'm Steve Minnick. Make sure to check back here at WMTW.com or our mobile app for the top stories and, of course, weather anytime.